Welcome to the Cubicity course about creating and utilizing Blender asset libraries. My name is Kent Trammell and I will be your instructor. One of Blender's new-ish features is the Asset Browser, which is a welcomed interface for organizing, navigating, and utilizing libraries of models, materials, worlds, and more. 3D assets like this can be easily reused, easily shared between scene files, and easily updated. Workflows based on reusable asset libraries are fundamental to large-scale projects and animation pipelines. In this course, I will guide you through the creation of adorable city assets, the assetization of those assets so they're accessible through the asset browser, and finally, the assembly of those assets into a cute isometric city. This style has something for every skill level. We'll begin with simplistic standalone assets like a light post, a bench, and even simple vehicles, among others. These are the kinds of things you can build on your first day learning Blender. Then chapter two develops into more intermediate concepts like asset modularity. Things like buildings designed to fit within a grid layout, as well as street sections which need to seamlessly snap together geometrically and be seamless within the material. Here we will also begin to utilize procedural textures so we can reuse a minimal number of materials for all our assets. In fact, we won't be using a single image texture throughout this project. In chapter three, we'll take it another step further into advanced techniques. I'll show you how to create a simple parametric building using geometry nodes. We'll also take a deep dive into automated material randomization, which is very important when reusing assets and materials frequently. Here we will utilize color attributes as conditions to control parameters in the materials, like randomizing certain parts of our buildings and illuminating windows. There really is something for every skill level in this course. And we're doing something special, something we've never done before. CG Cookie members will be invited to contribute to the official Cubicity Asset Library. It's an opportunity to apply what you learn by creating assets that fit this style and then submit them to be reviewed and assimilated into the collection. Over the coming months and years, I hope to see this library grow and evolve by hundreds of assets. New city blocks and neighborhoods can be added over time. Maybe a pier with a Ferris wheel and food trucks. There's so much potential for what this can become, and I think it'll be really neat to watch and be a part of. So that's what Cubicity is all about. The course is available now for active CG Cookie members or as a standalone purchase from the Blender market.